Hi everybody, it's Claire with another project for the ScrapFX design team. Again, I am still playing in the uh, craft journal, craft junk journal kit. <laughs> I always get that the wrong way around, I don't know why. Um, and I'm working on a page, two pages that are different sizes. So one is half of a tag and um, I'm starting off. Um, I had some really bright rainbow colours left in my little tray on the left hand side and decided I would use those. Um, and just go straight in onto the craft with no gesso or anything else and um, just add some stripes of rainbow colour going across the page. So um, I like this because um, this is a really easy way to make a background and it's bright and it's colourful and also I like the fact that these two pages are different sizes so it's adding a little bit of extra interest there too um, and um, getting them to work together um, this is immediately brings the pages together so you know they're going to be part of the same thing because the background stretches across both of them even though they are different sizes. So once that was dry I'm going to start adding in some collage paper and I'm using three. These are all from ScrapFX. Um, so one is the fountain pen uh, rice paper, one is label phrases and the other one is the measurement one. Um, I'm going to be adding these on top of the paint that's just to kind of start to break it up a little bit um, but also there will be um, some more interest going on top of those too. So I'm using some gel matte medium to stick these in place and I'm just kind of going with wherever feels right for these but again I'm doing them across both pages so that it helps these two pages work cohesively together um, and behave as more like one page rather than two because they're different sizes. Um, so really in a situation like this I just treat this as, as if they were the same and try not to think about them as being different. So I'm adding in the layers of collage paper and overlapping them a little bit so nothing's kind of floating out there on its own at the moment. I'm just kind of going with where feels balanced. So sometimes it's good to put the collage paper on first before you add your paint and um, sometimes I like to do it after. I just kind of go with however I feel. Um, I don't think there's any right or wrong really just do whatever you like doing. I like clearly couldn't stop could I add in this collage paper it was just going on and on and on. So once that was all dry I'm then using the circular shawl stencil and a really pale pink. Um, I would have used carnation from Dina Wakeley but I've run out of it. Um, so this is an Amsterdam acrylic paint colour that is pretty much the same um, and I'm just adding some areas of stenciling onto the page so the colours are still showing through but there is a little bit more interest now too. I'm just using a makeup sponge as well to put this in onto the page and then once that was dry I then went in with permanent red violet light from Amsterdam acrylic um, and just added a little pop of that so next I'm using this design by Danny Scholes. I hope I've got that right Danny. Um, this is one of her Frida dolls. It comes on a sheet with other designs on too. Um, it's a really catchy, striking, might be a better word than catchy. Why catchy? It's a really striking image. I'm putting my um, inability to speak today down to being full of cold. <laughs> and I'm sticking with it. So once that was um, decided where it was going, I then got the uh, palm frond stamp out and stamped that in place using some um, archival black ink. Um, the reason I put that there was because I was going to put a little patchwork bird on that side too. Um, 
So I'm sticking that Frida doll in place using a glue stick and then I'm going to add a couple more uh, stamp images on there too so that that one on the right hand side isn't kind of floating there on its own. But they're only parts of the stamp, it's not the whole stamp that I'm using. Then I'm using the Stabilo All Pencil and I'm just outlining the doll just so that it helps it to stand out a little better from the quite busy colourful background. And I am um, water activating that as well just to give it that kind of nice smudgy look. Then this is the quote that comes from some sheets um, called Frida Quotes and I chose one that I that kind of struck with me really and that's the reason for the bird the quote says feet what do I need you for when I have wings to fly it just seemed appropriate to pop a little bird on this page as well I'm using some PVA glue to stick these in place So then I'm just using a Signo Uniball in white and I'm just outlining that stamped image that I've added onto the page. And then of course some mark making some dots. It wouldn't be my pages would it without some dots. And then I felt like the bird was kind of disappearing into the background so got my stub below all and started to outline it but then felt that I'd done it too dark so kind of started smudging it out a bit and uh, became a bit of a smudgy mess but it was okay it worked all right it did give like a little bit of a shadow around that bird and it did stand out a little bit better. Um, then I'm just continuing with the mark making and using a different size pen just to add a bit of variety to those dots too. So that's it, the finished page really, that's about as far as it goes. So um, I am really loving working in this junk journal kit, as I keep saying. Um, it's a lovely book to work in. I love how the colours really pop on the craft uh, substrate as well. Sorry these pi pa pictures are a bit blurry, I do apologise. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.